So we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. We got 24 coming up. And I want to hear what you are committing to. And this is going to be on the air. This is everybody's going to, everybody, peer pressure is going to, we're going to do a flashback to this episode to see <laughs> if you're, you know, maybe a check in at six months. This is kind of like me saying I'm going to lose a bunch of weight and not happening. But let's just, let's just go with what is Don't your worry, New Year's we'll resolution? Check on that too, Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. going to have your six so months in. <laughs> Uh, Kata, <laughs> what is the what, what is the New Year's resolution for 24? Well, as we know, I'm moving to Austria and uh, I'm moving into the house that I grew up in, my childhood home. And my dad is actually a quite well-known um, nursery man in Austria, Europe. And most people think that if he is such a famous, you know, nursery person, he must have an amazing garden. Well, um, as it so happens, I feel like most people who work in horticulture actually don't have really nice home gardens because they don't have time for it. Um, that's kind of true for my dad as well. It's it's It has a really good structure and there's so many great trees in there and like the bones are really good, but definitely did not have time in the last couple of years to really maintain it. So my big New Year's resolution is to really like transform this garden. I definitely was also thinking about maybe recording it a little bit, like, you know, showing how you can work with an old garden and make it something new. I do have like a very firm deadline of when it has to also look good. So like it was a little funny you said six months um, because we have like a big wedding coming up where tons of our friends come, tons of like industry peers. And I feel like I do have like this pride where I want people to think I have a nice garden. So the reality is it is my news for a solution that I will put my my partner to work to do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a visa yet for Austria. And I'm making it this big question. Oh my gosh. But of course I will help him a lot. Um, so the big <laughs> solution is to help my husband to make this <laughs> garden um happen. but yeah no it i'm just excited to garden in a climate that i'm used to and a space that is like forever you know yeah well i, I mean it's a legacy garden that you're it's the passing of the torch right I and mean, it's a pretty yeah. cool moment for you guys all right uh 24 let's go to devin what is growing on in 24 what is the resolution that we get to so i kind of got I got two. One, my first one is to stay on top of weeding. So that's what I'm going to start doing tomorrow. So hopefully I can at least be have the front yard weeded before 2024. But um, yeah, so I'm going to stay on top of weeding. And then I also want to learn and get better at composting. Composting. So. I all stay right. on top of composting all the one. food. Is any form of compost? Is this worm? Is this like household? Household, compost? like just left over from like leaf debris, yard debris and, you know food like vegetable there's scrap. so many different products out there to help you with this are you going to go with a diy approach or are you going to go more product you're researching products? well i mean i've got three rollers out there which i actually like because it contains it and makes rolling you know turning your compost a lot easier um but i just don't know if i need to put more holes on the side of it to get it some more ventilation because it's not breaking down just how i want it in there so i don't know it's gonna be a learning project for me so I always found sunlight is a missing mm -hmm. ingredient for a lot of folks that do the barrels and a lot of home compost. So yeah, make sure you get some. My place was pretty good. I mean, it's right at the edge of the woods, so it gets sun from like sun up to like three o'clock, and then it's in the shade. So I don't know if it needs that super intense afternoon sun, but you it does get hot seven. in there. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. Let's yeah. see some of that dirt gold. All yes. right, mm -hmm. Michelle, twenty four. What's that? What's what are you gonna what are you gonna accomplish in twenty four? Okay, I will not be committing to two things on air here, Devin. <laughs> way to go for you. I am <laughs> just. <laughs> I am going to try to give my roses their best shot of happiness in the southeast. So every year when the roses first flush out and they're all budded out and blooming, I'm like, I'm gonna spray these every two weeks. I'm going to alternate copper and neem oil and I'm going to take care of them. And then it lasts for like maybe a month and a half. 
And then when the heat sets in, I'm like, Psh, I'm done. <laughs> and the roses all struggle. So this year I'm going to see if I can have nice looking roses or at least roses that keep the majority of their leaves. That's the goal. <laughs> keep your leaves on this year. So what are we talking like 50% of the leaves, 70? I don't know. We don't need to put a number to this. I have enough <laughs> smart goals at work, guys. <laughs> there we go. I just think it's hilarious and like really great that you are sitting here with your crown, the princess of the South, and you're like talking about roses. Because when I think about roses, I always think about British royals, exactly. like British royal rose gardens. And I'm like, wait to go, Michelle, you got this. We're going to have the royal rose garden of 2024. I'll, yes. I'll send you the queen title right there if you got it. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see at the check month check in. A six month check in will be about the time where normally I'm done. So we'll see. Well, okay. So I got bit by the rose bug a couple years ago, and I was all into roses. Like I wanted all the cool varieties and do all this stuff. And the only way I have been able to be successful with roses is make sure they have enough sun. And then spray them every two weeks with, I know it's not organic, so don't kill me, but it works the best, Rose Shield. It Rose is Shield. the best. You spray it once every two weeks. Um, it does insect and fungicide. Um, they do make a drench if you want to do a drench. I just find the spray works better with the funguses because I don't really believe in systemic fungicides. I don't see how they work. But... Um, but yeah, so that's, if you do that, right. you'll be successful. I've got roses down here in Florida because I was crazy. I was like, I'm going to grow roses in Florida. And yeah. they did not look super pretty, but it was all <laughs> the first just shaking his head. <laughs> it was the first year. Usually they got to be there for two or three years before they look really, really good. But all Rose right. Shield, every two weeks, you will be good. Oh, and right. one other thing around, and this will be helpful for your check-in, <laughs> but around <laughs> July 4th, Whack your roses Put back, back. in half. Whack them back. <laughs> just, just get and rid of that them. Just because that time of year they just stretch because it's so hot and they're trying to grow and just yeah, whack them yeah. back so they focus their energy in the middle of the plant and then you will get the most beautiful fall rose bloom out of all your roses. Okay. So, all right. There's you the some rose tips. Rose garden of 2024 is, is in the in the works. <laughs> well, we covered a lot of ground today, people. This was awesome. So for the soon-to-be queen of the Rose Garden, Michelle, <laughs> for Kata, the, the legacy continues in Austria. I just can't wait to see what you do with that. It's really special. And Devin, let your, your compost, <laughs> that gold, let it shine this year. 24 is going to be a great year for us to keep going and growing. So thanks everybody from the Plant Nerd family. This has been a great hey, first wait, year. Wait, stop. What hey. is yours? Yes. Oh. I'm like, you are holding us accountable in six months and then you will be like, oh, it's great. And you just make up something. No, no, no. We're not done yet. Mario, what's your resolution? I'm gonna like what Devin says is just like kind of hack it back. Um I'm I I plan on okay. So for my home garden, I'm going to do a lot more camellias. I'm going to do a camellia ali. And so I'm about halfway there. And these are camellias that um, I'm essentially, I'm taking all the orphans from Servscape. People that like, like, I don't want this plant. I didn't, I thought I wanted it. I didn't want it. It is my orphanage of plants. And I'm going to sort of make this assembly uh, shine in some way or fashion. But every once in a while, somebody's like, I just don't want that camellia. And perfectly fine. I take it home and nurture, I care for it. And so I'm creating this Camellia Ali on the side of the house. It's on the north side of the house and it's blooming fantastic right now. Uh, but I only have one side done. So I'm actually going to make double rows going all the way down in a nice triangular pattern. Um, you know, the walkway right in the middle is a um, kind of a chip slate. And so again, I'm only, I'm only halfway there, but um, I, I am committing to my Camellia Ali and losing a few LBs myself. 